While the last couple of years have been a struggle to say the least, as Alien fans we've always had a decent amount of new franchise material to enjoy while the world tries to correct itself. And now in 2022, it looks like we're going to have more content than ever to quench our alien thirst. So today I want to take the time to break down everything that's coming our way throughout the year of 2022. The first major thing we need to talk about is the recently announced partnership between Free League Publishing and Titan Books. Free League Publishing are responsible for the release of Alien the RPG and its subsequent expansions. Titan Books are the publisher that releases all the Alien novels. Together they plan to release three new novels in an interconnected storyline. Each of the three novels will feature an RPG expansion at the back of each book. This is one of the most ambitious and exciting cross-content collaborations I've seen in the Alien universe or across any Alien media. The first two novels have been announced with currently the third remaining untitled. So let's talk about the first two of these new novel RPG hybrids. Alien Colony War. This new novel is set to release on the 12th of April and will be somewhat of a sequel to Alex Wyatt's uh, Alien into Cryptids novel, which itself is sort of a sequel to Alien the Cold Forge. Alien Colony War is being written by author David Barnett and is to be published by Titan Books. The novel synopsis reads, Political conflicts on Earth erupt into open hostilities between their colonies in space, with xenomorphs as the ultimate weapon. On Earth, political tensions boil over between the United Americas, the Union of Progressive Peoples, and the Three World Empire. Conflict spreads to the outer fringes, and the UK colony of New Albion breaks from the Three World Empire, this action leading to the Colony War. Trapped in the middle are journalists Cher Hunt, scientist Chad McLaren, and their synthetic Davis. Seeking to discover who caused the death of her sister, Shy Hunt, Cher uncovers a far bigger story. McLaren's mission is to stop the militarization of the deadliest weapon of all, the Xenomorph. Their trail leads to a drilling facility on LV-187. Someone or something has destroyed it, killing the personnel and the British are blamed. Colonial forces arrive, combat erupts and then the groups are overwhelmed by an alien swarm. Their only hope may lie with the Royal Marine Commandos unit known as God's Hammer. There's obviously a lot to unpack with this synopsis. Luckily, I've already made a full theory video breaking down what we might see from this novel when it releases in April. In addition to getting a brand new novel, we'll also be getting access to a brand new and exclusive game scenario based on the massively popular, award-winning Alien RPG from Free League Publishing. Those that know me know that I'm a massive fan of what Free League's doing with the Alien franchise with their Alien the RPG. So being able to purchase an alien novel and in addition get an RPG expansion scenario inside that same book is a dream come true. Hats off to both Titan Books and Free League Publishing for this amazing collaboration. Alien Inferno's Fall is the second of two novels currently announced for 2022. Inferno's Fall is currently slated for release on the 26th of July and is being published by Titan Books. Inferno's Fall is being co-written by Pip Ballantyne and Clara Sharia. For those that don't know, Clara is a friend of the channel and previously a long-time Alien fandom community leader. Previously having run the Studio Utani blog, the LV223 subreddit, and has been admin of the LV426 Discord among other things. Clara in the last year or two has gotten to work with Free League Publishing on the Alien star map for the Middle Heavens region as well as doing consultant work on the novels Alien into Cryptids and Alien's Phalanx. Well now they have graduated to author status, which is something really amazing to see, to watch a fan become a community leader, then a part of an official Alien project of the all their own. Inferno's Fall is as the synopsis details. A gargantuan, horseshoe-shaped ship appears over the mining planet of Sharnman, unleashing a black rain of death that creates xenomorph-like monsters worse than the darkest of nightmares. As war breaks out among the colonies, a huge ship appears over the UPP mining planet of Sharnman. 
unleashing a black rain of death that yields hideous transformations. Rescue is too far away and the colonists' only hope appears in the form of the vessel the Righteous Fury. It carries the Jackals, an elite mix of former colonial marines and royal marine commandos. Led by Zula Hendrix, the Jackals seek to rescue the few survivors from the depths of the planet. But have they arrived in time? This book seems to be counterpart to Alien Colony War, and that would make sense because it seems like these three novels are all going to be interconnected in some way, being set in the same newly relatively unexplored period of the Alien timeline that's taking place around the 2180s. A number of connections between the two books have arisen from the reveal of their synopsis, and while I won't go too much into that in this video, I have a video releasing sometime after this giving my theories as to what we could be in for and what we could see upon the release of Inferno's Fall. It was also recently confirmed that Inferno's Fall uh, novel will also include a game scenario from Alien the RPG similar to Alien Colony Wars. Just as I was about to edit this video and post it for you all, I got an email from Free League Publishing announcing the title of the third novel in their partnership with Titan Books, and the title of the first RPG scenario expansion for Alien the RPG. The third novel is titled Alien, Enemy of My Enemy, and is to be written by author Mary San Giovanni. Please forgive me if I butchered that name. Ready for release come February 2023. Nothing else is currently known. But the fact that there are now three novels in the pipeline, each with an RPG expansion within them, is phenomenal news. And secondly, we're also given the title of the RPG scenario within the novel Alien Colony War by David Barnett. The RPG story is titled Alien Fallout, and given the title, we'll probably explore the effects of the fallout of the events uh, of the Colony War on the planet New Albion, featured in its host novel. This year we also need to be on the lookout for any news or announcements relating to the upcoming Alien TV series. Currently in early production this show is being created by Noah Hawley and has Ridley Scott attached as a producer. While we currently know very little about the show to date, we know that the plot sets the story on Earth in the not so distant future. AI and consciousness seem to be suggested to be the major themes of the series. The filming for the series was set to begin in March of 2022, however that has now been delayed to September 2022. While it is extremely unlikely the show will release this year, what we could possibly look forward to this year is the title announcement, an official release date, or possibly even a trailer if enough filming is completed by then. On the game side of things, Aliens Fireteam Elite, while already out, still has much to offer. Currently, uh, Fireteam has two more seasonal content expansions slated for 2022. However, hopefully by the end of the year we get a release slate for 2023 and onwards. The first of which is Season 3. This will include a new character kit, a brand new feature of some kind, four weapons, ten perks, new cosmetics, new challenge cards. Season 3 is set to be releasing in Q2 of 2022, so relatively soon. Season 4 is the only other announced update for Aliens Fireteam Elite, and it will include a new game mode, another new feature, 4 new weapons, 10 new attachments, cosmetics, and its own challenge cards. Season 4 is set to release in Q3 of 2022, and hopefully we continue to see further updates later into the year, into Q4, and hopefully we get news about what updates that we could be seeing in 2023. Predator Hunting Grounds began with a single year of updates and has now continued on for many years since its release, so hopefully Fireteam Elite follows suit. While the RPG will be releasing a bunch of expansions in the back of the novels of those Titan books, it's also uh, not stopping there. On the tail end of January, Free League Publishing finally announced the next major expansion for their multiple award winning role playing game, Alien the RPG. This brand new cinematic scenario is called Heart of Darkness. Alien Heart of Darkness is a standalone adventure, however serves as the conclusion to what the publisher is calling the Draconis Strain Saga. The saga beginning with Chariot of the Gods continued into Alien Destroyer of Worlds and will now meet its conclusion 
with Alien Heart of Darkness. This new expansion is to be written by Andrew E.C. Gasker, who is Free League's main story writer for the Alien universe. This scenario will be able to be played with between 3 to 5 players, plus a game mother. While little to nothing is currently known about the Heart of Darkness expansion, we can take a stab in the dark at the possible story to be revealed in its pages. The announcement for the scenario calls Heart of Darkness a spiralling descent into soul-crushing madness. Looking at the cover, we see that the artwork depicts a creature that looks very similar to the Deacon featured within the film Prometheus. So it's possible that we're going to see this creature or something like it uh, be the primary threat of this new story. The cover also includes what looks like a space station or orbital of some kind right in front of what appears to be a black hole. Something serious is going down in this story and is obviously likely to involve the engineer's genetic accelerant, specifically the 26 Draconis strain that has been featured so heavily through the RPG story so far possibly explaining how a deacon could have been created within the scenario in the first place. No matter the specific details of the story, it looks as though it will be very intriguing and a dark dive into a new and exciting corner of the Alien universe. And now we arrive at Marvel's Alien issues. If the comic slate continues to release once a month from this point on, then we should be seeing an additional 10 issues released this year. We are currently three to four issues into the second arc of the Marvel Alien comics involving the uh, Spinner Colony storyline. So throughout the year, we should see the end of this arc, the full third arc and the start of a fourth if the comics maintain the six arc issue structure. The run of the comics from Marvel have been pretty lackluster so far, largely due to the artwork. But hopefully throughout the next year's worth of releases, these issues can be resolved. And last, but most certainly not least, we have the newly announced Alien film. Announced in this month of March, this film is said to be a standalone story set in the Alien universe with a new cast of characters. The film is to be written and directed by renowned horror director Fede Alvarez. Responsible for such works as 2016's Don't Breathe, 2021's Don't Breathe 2, its follow-up sequel, 2013's The Evil Dead, 2018's The Girl in the Spider's Web, and the TV series From Dusk Till Dawn, to name a few. The film is being produced by Ridley Scott through his Scott Free production company, and we will be released by Disney for streaming, likely to Hulu or Disney Plus Star, or both, because I think they're pretty much the same thing, just region specific. Similarly to what I think the Alien TV series uh, will be seeing in terms of a release. Currently, very little is known about this film. However, I think it's unlikely that we'll be seeing it this year. Much more realistically, we will probably hear more news about it and info from it throughout this year and possibly see a release within the next two years or so. It looks as though it's going to be a very good rest of the year, filled with tons of alien goodness. It's good to see that the alien universe is once again thriving with tons of new releases and things to enjoy. To stay up to date with all the news and goings on in the world of alien, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you really want to support what we do here and gain a bunch of awesome rewards, consider joining as a Project Acheron channel member. Like Project Director Chris Dussinger, Company Representatives uh, The Sixness, M56 Smart Gunner, and Sith Lord 906, and like team members Raunchy, Ambrosia, The Ryan Smee, and Jack Fleming Jr. I hope to see and hear from you all again very soon. Project Acheron bringing the knowledge and the power directly to you.